Hello everyone, it's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten. And I wanted to take this moment to shoot a quick video. I'm currently on my way to do a showing and so I don't have a lot of time, but I wanted to do this video um, just to encourage people with everything that's going on in the world today that we have to focus on the positive. We have to focus on the good. And if you haven't done so already, please click and subscribe on my channel for more um, videos of encouragement and I'm, I just keep it real over here. I try to be 100. It's not always the most popular thing to do, but that's who I am. That's who God made me to be. So click and subscribe and also share my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. But today it's uh, the topic is going to be a little conversational piece about um, exercising the power that God has put within each and every one of us. He put gifts and abilities in each and every one of us, but he also put his power inside of us so that we can walk around with a, a strong, powerful mindset and understanding that we are powerful beyond anything that we could ever imagine. Like whatever we imagine we want to do with our lives, we can do that, but we have to know that we have the power within us. We can't allow uh, the media or the rest of the world to dictate how far and what you can and cannot do because then you'll never accomplish any of your goals, any of your dreams or any of your aspirations. So I'm saying we need to dig up the power that God put inside of us and let it live in us and breathe in us and just be who we are as people, a powerful people. That's what we need to do. Um, and I also wanted to say hum humility is overrated. I think sometimes it's overrated. It's okay to be humble. But if you look up the definition of humility, part of that definition says, uh, you know, it's like a, a low view of oneself. It's like you, you're very, you know, you think of yourself low and you, and so I, I think we, we need to have some type of humility, but not to the point to where we just shrink ourselves down into this comfortable space that everybody wants us to be at. You know, if you're, if you're hanging around people that you always have to shrink yourself down and you always have to watch what you say and what you do. Those are not your people. You should be able to be as bold as you may be. You should be able to be as bold as you are around the people that claim to be your family or your friends. And if you can't, you need to find you an, another set of friends. Or Like we can't divorce our families. Uh, but you don't have to hang around them that much. If you always feel yourself shrinking, shrinking yourself down so that you can fit their idealism instead of being who you really are so that's what this video is about it's about exercising the power that god has put inside of us and god did not i mean the spirit of fear is not of god so don't walk around here in fear thinking that um you know thinking that you're not protected or covered because if as long as you're a child of god you are protected you are protected and covered but you also have to protect and cover yourself and other people so i'm not saying go out there and be foolish about anything especially with uh the climate that we're going through now with the virus going around and all that i'm not saying i'd be foolish but uh as long as you're wearing your mask and you're uh, sanitizing and you're social distancing and if you've been around somebody that had COVID, you're quarantining for 14 days after so you don't pass it on as long as you're doing stuff like that i think that we're gonna make it through this you guys but we have to believe it we have to believe anything that we want we have to believe it first so we have to believe that god has our best interest and in, in, you know at in his heart and he has our best interest nobody else does the world definitely doesn't they want to keep you in fear they want to keep you uh stumbling and scared to make any moves because as long as they have powerless people will never be powerful they're gonna always be way above us because they keep us down here humbled and powerless do you kind of get what i'm saying here god created us to be up here too we have every right and just to, to bring it home, just to bring it home a little bit, I remember when I first took my daughter to, um, I was fortunate enough to get her in this private school. And I'm only mentioning this because I don't share a lot about my life. But when I took her to this private school, she had a re really, really hard time with walking on campus, walking into that school. And I used to always say to her, you have every right to be here, every right. You're just as smart, you're just as talented as these other kids. You may not be elite or, or wealthy, but you have every right to be here. Now I want you to walk in there and hold your head up and, and give them your per personality. Don't go in there changing who you are. 
be who you are and people are going to gravitate to you and and that's what happens with her i mean she's very charismatic anyway but we have to constantly remind our children we, and we need to remind ourselves every good thing from god we have the right to to have those things but we have to know that we deserve them so i want us to adapt to that mindset that we are a powerful strong people and we deserve all the good that's all the good that god has for us we deserve it and we also want it and so we're going to walk around with power and a, we're going to walk around with power and a sound mind understanding that god truly has us he loves us and he's going to protect us and of course we have to watch as well as pray so we're going to protect ourselves and others too but there is no cause for us to walk around here in fear because where I see this thing going, uh, it, it, if we allow it to go there, it, it's not going to be good. Because now we got people blaming the, the vaccinated people, I mean, the unvaccinated for the infections, for the vaccinated. And then there's a lot of misinformation out there. But if you take on a stance and you're not studying and showing yourself as approved, you're not looking at the medical articles. I mean, I'm talking about solid factual information. It will start messing with you mentally and you may start stressing and you may get sick and it opens you up to more infectious diseases or whatever because your immune system is compromised because you're so scared you're going to catch it. So that's why I say it's best to take the positive approach and trust in God as well as take the precautions that we need to keep ourselves safe, our family safe and others safe. But we don't want to walk around in fear. Fear is not of God. I'm going to say that I've already made a video about it, but I'm going to say it again. Fear is not of God. We're going to walk around here boldly and we're going to walk in the power that God put inside of us and we're going to tackle this thing and we're going to win. So I want to encourage everybody that's, that's watching this video Yes, we want to be aware of what's going on, but sometimes you have to cut off the news. You have to stop looking at the social media and all the negative undertones that's going on with the, with how stuff is being posted. To, and all that's being done is to pit us against each other. We've always been pitted against each other. And we got to know that's not of God because God wouldn't pit us against each other. He would try to help us find solutions so that we can all be in this world and thrive and be safe and beat this thing. So stop looking at all the negative stuff and don't participate. Cut it off. Don't talk about it. Keep moving on. So I don't know about you, but I'm going to continue to live my life. My children are going to continue living their lives. We're going to continue to do uh, walk in our purpose and do what God is asking us to do. We're going to continue growing our businesses. We're going to continue helping com our communities. We're going to continue doing everything that God has put in front of us to do until we're no longer here. That's it. So I challenge you all to do the same. I have to go uh, because I don't want to miss these clients. They're very important clients. And I will talk to you guys soon. Remember, always put God first. And fear is not of God. We're going to walk in this thing and we're going to beat it. And we're going to walk around in the power that God has put, put within us. I love you guys. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.